Howdy folks, here's a little uh, DIY project I wanted to share with you. Uh, someone asked me about it, they've seen me using it in some of my videos. And this is a little wing incidence meter. Uh, it's basically just a, a line level, like a, a builder's line level, sitting on top of a piece of square timber there with a couple of sliding clamps. The clamps have a little V cut in here. Uh, the apex of the V's is sort of equal distance from the uh, base of the, the level. So you know that when uh, the clamps are sort of clamping onto a wing, leading edge and trailing edge, you can actually level out the wing using the uh, line level. And I'll show you how it clamps on. It's got a bit of a rubber band here to apply a bit of spring tension. clamps onto the leading edge so you've, uh, you're, you're sure uh, that you're actually lined up right on the leading edge and it's clamped onto the trailing edge as well. Now the problem is some wings have a flat bottom but if you put them flat down on a surface what's actually happen, happening is the uh, leading edge is actually sitting up a little bit off the, off the surface. So you can't trust that flat bottom to work out the angle of incidence of the uh, of the wing just by plonking it straight down on the fuselage. Often you need to lift up the trailing edge by five, six millimetres, something like that. And this wing incidence meter helps you work that out. Here's a little piece of uh, hot wire cut uh, Clark Y section that I can demonstrate that with. This Clark Y has a flat bottom, but the flat bottom isn't the zero angle of incidence. If you look at that there, when it's lying flat on a flat surface, the leading edge is actually sitting up by a good 10 millimetres or so. So that wing is actually sitting up at the leading edge and to get it zero angle of incidence, you would need to lift up the trailing edge by about 6-7 millimetres, something like that. Uh, what you do with, a, uh, with another level like this one, you lay the fuselage on a flat surface and you get the horizontal stabiliser dead level using this level here and prop up the plane. Put the wing incidence meter on the wing and then you can work out exactly what angle you need to mount the wing at to make it uh, the same angle of incidence as the horizontal stabiliser. Yes, I had this 12 millimeter square piece of hardwood and had a little line a level just taped on there sitting on the top surface and then I had these sliding clamps and uh, they, they are made from the same 12 millimeter square hardwood top and bottom with a gap that's just the right dimensions for the uh, cross piece to, to slide into and then I've just got um, about five millimeter fiberboard either side just screwed and glued into place and then I've just cut out these V shapes uh, carefully measuring from uh, well the top line there down to the apex of the V and just make sure that that is identical on either side and then I've just got the rubber band there to uh, help hold the clamps together so that's a very simple and very useful little homemade uh, incidence meter I'll draw up some plans for this little uh, incidence meter and um, post the link in the description so you can build your own from my dimensions if you want to. Thanks for watching.